Today we're going to introduce my first kit for this channel and this will be the High Grade Zuda. An unfamiliar 2006 kit that I've been eyeing on since but hard to find here in the Philippines and thankfully I have it right here. Opening this kit, you are welcome with a total number of 5 runners not including the polycaps and 2 type of sticker sheets. One for the mono eye and the other one a heavy amount of decal sticker sheet. The mobile suit itself is unfamiliar to me and this video will partially be a review of that so I'm excited to build this and see what we got. Dondoro build. Whee! After 6 hours of building this kit, we have the mobile suit in its strong appearance and it's predominantly covered in a Maya or baby blue color scheme partnered with a couple of black parts here and there. Granted, this is an old kit, therefore design is simple with minimal contrast to break up the monochrome parts and it might not stand out on your shelf should you leave the color as is. Design-wise, I think it's a badass kit when viewed above the waistline, but not until you look below that and that would be the legs. You are greeted with the mechanical upper body stature, but then you notice the legs look almost organic and that somewhat breaks the visual only if you're looking closely and I tend to be nitpicky about this design. You can pretty much throw in Sonic's legs in there and maybe no one can tell the difference and that's where I want to rectify it by simply recoloring this kit to make the legs less noticeable. To start off, Zuda's color design felt it is a space type mobile suit and my plan is to recolor this into a ground type mobile suit much like any other Xeon suits that tend to have varieties and uses depending whether they are stationed in space or ground combat. I based the color scheme from the Dwaj in Mobile Suit Unicorn Gundam because of how practical the colors work in a desert type setting. As I mentioned before, this is partially a review video and my first attempt to try painting this kit after 13 years of straight building model kits. Testing out what colors complement each other is a daunting task and this took me 2 or 3 days to conceptualize because I'm worried the colors might work against each other and I take my color palette seriously. Therefore, going in blindly with this project is nerve wracking but exciting at the same time. With all the parts colored and set after 2 extra days of painting, the colors almost came out the way I expected. The sand yellow parts perhaps is my favorite to work with as it gave off that cream color look, however I expected the red parts to come out as subdued red which was my first mistake since I used black primer underneath the coating. Nonetheless, the contrast between light and dark colors, the application of asymmetry made the result look absolutely wonderful, but there's far more work to be done just yet. Like these legs for example, with great coating comes great imperfections. This is my first time tackling custom painting on a model kit. There are tons of great artists and builders who have created their own niche to approaching this hobby and I'd love to try each and every one of them to find my own style as well. For this kit, I went for the chipping effect. Since I wanted the MS to be grounded, throwing in some rust and paint chipping off should do the trick to add more depth and contrast to the build. This process took me 3 hours to finish and carefully placing where the chipping adds more to the mobile suit silhouette design. And finally, after 2 days of conceptualizing, 1 day of sanding and polishing, 3 days of painting and an extra day of chipping, I'm happy to say this process has been a blast. 
The result isn't perfect considering I was cutting corners such as ignoring small and painted areas, being less generous with the masking pieces, seamline coverage, and perhaps the worst of all is my ignorance of small details and that is the holster section of the legs. I've been busy sanding the parts I didn't realize this whole section is built in the wrong area, making the holster rendered useless. I mean seriously, useless. But I think overall, the final output adds so much story to tell behind this design. By adding a symmetry in the mix, such as the reds on the right arm and on the left front skirt, this created a sense of imbalance or rebellious nature of the mobile suit, or maybe a rogue soldier who's just done with everything is the best description I could give. My reference to this design is a cross between the Dwaj and Boba Fett, and both look generally imposing and the Zuda felt just right to be carrying this concept. If there's one thing I learned from this building experience, it is to be mindful of the pieces no matter how small or trivial it may be, otherwise you might end up making the same mistake and will question the existence of this mechanical design because of my wrongdoing. But that'll be all for today, time to continue building forward and move on to the next video. Build safe, stay safe, see ya!